Well guys, another 3D printing project. I really think this one's cheating. It's a mousetrap powered car. And instead of using a simple piece of cardboard for the chassis, I'm 3D printing it. But I guess it has to be done because I have a 3D printer. I did start making it very complicated in the design and then I had a second thought and I've actually simplified it significantly. You will see when it's finished. Well, it's finished printing. I suspect I'm going to have to Get my knife under there to lift it up. Hi guys. I've been doing rubber band powered cars and balloon powered cars recently. Because I've had a few requests. And the next one on the list is usually mousetrap powered car. So there will be a link in the video description to my mousetrap powered car playlist. Um very similar setup to a rubber band powered car. You need a chassis with wheels on either end and you need to be able to connect a bit of string from the mousetrap to the back axle. So you could use all sorts of things under the table here. I've got these bits of plywood left over from one of those wooden kits so I could stick wheels on the back and the front, cut a little slot out there for the rubber band to go through, a uh, rubber band, string to go through, in fact it could probably go through somewhere like that and that would do the job but because I've got my 3D printer I've printed myself what is in effect the same as a cardboard chassis very simple, holes at the back and front, the gap to get through to the axle. Let's nick this off here so we can demonstrate easily. For the wheels I'm using CDs and I 3D printed some hubs to clip the CDs in place. You see I've done it for several of these but if you haven't well, if you haven't got a 3D printer, you won't be doing that, so you might as well have the hubs as well. But if you're doing it from scratch and you're putting it on a piece of cardboard instead of a fancy bit of 3D printing, then you can just use bottle caps and you can either hot glue them onto your wheels, onto your CDs, or tape them on. They work just as well. It's just that if I've got a 3D printer, I might as well try and do all of it. So... That one's a little bit loose on there, so that won't be any good. That's the back axle, because you need a good tight fit on the back axle. But it'll probably work for the front axle. Let's see if that one's any tighter on the back. A little bit tighter. I'm talking about whether they grip the axle or the barbecue skewer tightly, and they don't. That one's spinning. Uh, so we really want a thicker axle. Ooh, that one's going to be very tight. what we want. A good tight fit. You can glue them on, then they can't slip at all. Super glue works very well with PLA, 3D printed stuff. Looks 
all right. So, the question is, how are we going to fit this in place? I could drill holes through and screw it in place, bolt it in place. For the purpose of this exercise, oh, and I could glue it in place. Again, super glue works well with wood and works well with PLA. What you've got to remember is that comes over like that. The string is attached to there. So it's going to be pulling from here that way. So put it that way round. If you put it that way round, you'll be annoyed with yourself. And I have done that. As for where you want it, at the back or the front, it's probably not going to make a great deal of difference. We're probably going to get a problem with wheel spin. So we're probably going to need to put rubber tyres on here. But we'll find out. And a bit of string. It's going to have to go around the back axle. And it's got to reach up to there. It's got to be just that length. Too long and it won't come off the back axle. And it will get caught on it. And it will act as a brake. It needs to come off cleanly so that the wheels can freewheel. We might need to put a little peg on there or something, glue something on there just to make it easy to attach the rubber band. That rubber band. Got rubber bands on the brain. The string. So I'm gonna try double sided tape for now. It might all fly off and end horribly, or it might work. One easy way to find out. Try it. What do you think will happen? Do you think it will just fly off? I think it might. And I think drilling a few holes from the bottom up probably the best option, or gluing it. Or hot glue, hot glue would do. But we'll try it like this. I think that's coming loose already. <laughs> that doesn't look good, does it? This stuff's just been annoying, getting the protective plastic bit off it. different grades of this double-sided tape. Some is stickier than the others. This stuff came from Poundland. There we go. Right, make sure we get it the right way round, that way round. We'll stick it more or less in the middle for now. That's going to come around. It's not going to hit the wheel. Shouldn't do. I think we're all right. That's what I'm talking about, whether it's going to touch the wheel there. Because you just guarantee that when you want to get a good long run, you get a good launch and then that flicks over there somewhere and gets in the way. Right, how are we going to attach something to there? You could drill a little hole through. If these axles were thicker, if you just drill a hole through there and treat the end of your bit of string with 
super glue so it's stiff you can actually poke it through the hole turn it and that holds it in place you could also use um, fishing line does well for this little bit and that works quite well just poking it through a hole there because when the hole lines up at the end it just flies straight out and again you've got the free running I'll see if I can glue a little peg on there probably the the point off there right magically by the aid of uh, computer editing video editing there it is glued in place it's not going to be very strong but it only needs to hold the hook there as you start it winding after that it holds itself in place so that's going to go on there like that so we probably don't need that extra bit sticking out and we need this Go up to there. Be just a little bit short, that's just right. And we could spend a lot of time doing fancy knots there. And we can just super glue that and hope for the best. Right, time to give it a run. So, what's the chances of it working first time? Yeah, what do you reckon? I'll knock that and we'll see what happens. Wheel spin, dramatic wheel spin. So we need to put some rubber tires on. Right, for rubber tires, I use strips cut from old rubber gloves. You can also use strips cut from latex gloves or balloons. And we just need to stretch them round the outside of the wheel. Uh, I'll probably have to put some spacers in there now because the tyres are probably going to rub against the inside of the bodywork there. See if I can just do you a demonstration. Right, CD. You can do it inside or out, whichever side you feel has the better grip. These are cheaper rubber gloves than I like to use. 
and they don't feel very rubbery to be honest. But they'll probably improve the grip a bit. And say so if it's sticking out like that, you don't want that to be rubbing up against the bodywork. Okay, rubber tires. I've just got drinking straw bits as the spacers to keep the wheels away from the bodywork. So, up again. Make sure that doesn't get tangled. Okay, ready for the next run. You do find when you try and put tension on there, it does creep forwards anyway. And we'll knock that. Still had a wheel spin, not quite as bad. I have to add some weight to it. It's very lightweight. Right, for a weight, I'm going to try this 9 volt battery because I think it's just going to jam in there nicely. I could use some double sided tape to hold it in place, but that's an old one, that's why it's a bit flaky. So we'll try again. go again. Stay still. Are we ready? I'll use that again. It's just so my hand isn't in the way when you're doing it. Oh, much better. <sighs> okay, so we need to point it to the right a little bit. That's better. <laughs> Plenty of power. Just a matter of getting the launch right. I have mentioned on some of the other designs that I've done with the 3D printer, they're too short. So any slight movement means they shoot off to one side. If you wanted to, you could extend the front of that significantly and it would go a lot straighter. That's why drag racers have long fronts to them, to keep them going straight. Probably waiting for me to get my fingers caught in the mouse trap. It is easy to do. Are we ready? Huh. Ah, my little peg came off. Right, that was my little hook came off that time, so I've just glued it back on again. Used a bit of baking powder to thicken up the surface. Don't know if you can see there. That should make it a little bit more robust. Oh, it's definitely going left, but that'll do. We're certainly doing the distance easily. For those who like distances, I should think that's doing nine meters. It's, it's not doing the full nine meters because we're hitting the furniture at that end and we're not starting right back at the wall at the other end. But it's hitting it hard enough to let you know that it would have done the nine meters easily, probably significantly more than that. 
So we'll count that one as a success. Figured out why it's going left. This wheel is nicely gripped in place, stays there when I turn the axle. This wheel is turning when the axle isn't turning. What it is, it's just loose on my gripper hub. So I need to put a bit of tape on there or glue to stop it turn stop the CD turning on the hub. You see it's turning there and the hub's not turning. So what's happening there is under power, this wheel is driving it and that one isn't. So it's turning that way. Bit of parcel tape on there. That should hold it in place. Can't turn the axle now. We'll give it one more go. I thought I'd finished, but we'll have one more go. All right. Kettle's on for a cup of tea. We'll just give it one more run. And see if it goes any straighter. Well, a bit straighter. I think that'll do. <clears throat> the battery fell out. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's going to do for now. If you want it to go much straighter, make your body work longer. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.